Okay, this is take two. I tried to use this chain because it's so delicate for this. Problem was the wire I used was the really thin, um, this one. 30 gauge stainless steel, it's not the wire to use. My branches were still moving all over the place. So I did go ahead and put this on with two jump rings. I wasn't going to take it off. Okay, we're going to go backtrack one, bring it up. We start the same way we end, wrap it around, bring it up, and cross it over. Now, because this tree I want to have, I don't want this to break, oh my gosh. I think that the seed beads from now on will stay in a 4-inch hoop. I definitely think they look pretty in the last, the first and last 4-inch um, I did. I'm going to wrap this around twice because I want to keep it, actually I'll wrap that a little bit tighter, and I want to keep the space, so I'm going to bring that over. I'm going to pass that down. That one's still supporting both of, of those branches because I'm pulling tight on this wire here. I don't want them to move once I get that chain on there. No, I'm not going to go all the way over to there. I'm just going to wrap around as many times as it takes to get to the next branch without it getting crowded. So basically about, not a thumbprint, yeah, just my thumb, just stick my thumb there. So it has to be tight on the hoop, so you have to hold it, the reason being then they won't move. I did it with the other wire and they, it was not strong enough to hold it in place. So, just crossed over the neck of the third branch. Now I'm going to still hold all of them. I'm going to hold this real tight with this finger because I don't want to put pressure on the branch. I want the tension to be on the hoop. So the first one I'm going to just push it down. This one here is just to make space, to keep the space. Now I'll hold on to that and pull it and pass it down. My suggestion is 24 gauge wire all the time to wrap if you choose to wrap. Right now, this is what I have, so I'm using it. I don't like it, but... Okay, now the pull is on the hoop. Gently cross over your branch, pull it back, wrap over one time. Don't pull yet. The tension, you, you don't want it on your branch, you want it on your hoop. Now you can pull it really tight. And then position your next branch which I want right there. Actually, you know what? I only wrapped it once and I can see that it, it doesn't look good. I thought I had it twice here. Well, kind of I do, but it needs it again. So I'll wrap it around it one more time. See, once you've done that, now these ones here aren't going to slip and slide. They can still move a little bit. Now, this is where you put your tension. Because you don't want it to slip and slide after you get your um, chain on there. Now, wrap it around again. Bring it through. Bring it again. I'm still supporting my work. Down. I'm standing, this wire will definitely cause harm to my face. Okay, now I'm pulling real tight. I'm crossing over. 
gently. No tension on it now. Even if I had 24 gauge wire, I would still do it the same. Now I have a kink. A little twist in this wire is not forgiving. This wire is brutal. It is not intended for this. Okay. And pass it down again. I'm trying to keep a look up because I'm standing. That's all he wants. Um, so that I'm in focus, but I can't, I have to watch out that I don't hit myself with this wire. Okay, now all the tension, again, about a thumb, thumb away, don't have to be perfect. I'm going to cross over, bring it up, hold on to that, now you can pull. I'm going to do it again. Just bring it out. Now you can pull. Position the next branch. Now you have to be gentle. It's not so much with every tree I've had this much. This, I don't know. I don't know. The seed leaves are just very, um, I don't know. The tree just doesn't feel, I mean, it's definitely sturdy. I just think it's fragile. Maybe not, I don't know. I'm going to push that down again. Only because I don't want my branches close together. This is why I don't like this wire. That little tiny bend. Not easy to get out. I'm still holding on to that for dear life. Okay, now this is when you get rough. Give it a nice good tug. Cross over your branch. Like that. Again. Pass it down. Give it a good tug. Cross over the top of the neck of your branch right there. Right there. Push it down. Right here is the seam. This is where they put the um, hoop together. Don't put your wire there. <laughs> You'll break it if you pull too hard, I think. I've broken hoops. Not necessarily these ones. These ones here. I got on the Amazon um, and I've tried like five different kinds of hoops and some of them aren't lined up properly and they're a mismatch they, and they break. Tarnished. This one here is not. I'm going to try and remember to put it to write down. I have to pull up my Amazon um, purchases and see exactly which hoops these are. I have it in the tip of my tongue, but it's really not, I don't really know for sure. So. Prim primrose? Yeah, Primrose. That's the name, the brand that I like. I'm pretty certain that's what it is. Okay, so now we're on the last branch. I'm still holding on to that and these. I've crossed over twice. Now I'm going to do one more time just so that it doesn't loosen up on me. And now I'm just going to give these a little push and take the end of this wire, pass it in between the last two branches. You're going to backtrack one. Now you're going to lift this ball gently. 
right here you do not want to pull support it and cross it over and cut it there we go let me get rid of this uh, face hazard <laughs> wire I'm not going to use this. I'm just using it because I don't have the other. And I don't want to put it to waste. I actually bought it. I made a project, I don't know if you saw it, on a log. And I used the stainless steel wire. It was quite lovely. I took it apart because I used a lot of beads and I wasn't pleased with it. I had lights on it and everything. This is the log. I love this log. $10 on Amazon. And it is definitely worth it if you want a stand up tree, which I'm going to make something on that. I just don't know what yet. But anyway, guys, enough of my babbling. So, this wire, I can feel it. There it is. I don't know if you can see that. That wire is dangerous. So I have to really make sure I... That's too big. Get down there and... I got it. Oh, I can still feel it. I'm gonna have to mess around with that afterwards. So now they're not gonna slip and slide. I can move them a little bit if I want to. I'm gonna put on the chain. Just double checking. Okay. So I cut um, the paper clip chain into even links. I think I have 12. I'm not sure. No, there's more than that. I'm not going to count them. You'll be able to tell. Just hold up your chain. And just hold it anywhere. And that'll help you to determine where you want your halfway point. And the reason I'm doing that, so a step that I really wish I didn't have to take, but I do, is if you put a, a suction cup on a window, because it's a chain link, every other it, it will it won't hang right because even if you bend it right there, it's still more lapping in the hoop. So this is what I do. I put both of my little pieces of, I'm out of focus here, both of the little um, links, I'm sorry, when I'm way over there, on the, ch on the um, chain, connect them, and close your jump ring. It's not the right way to do it, but I don't want to teach you the wrong way to do things. It's easier when you use two pair of pliers. I just had it in my hand. Oh, here it is. Yeah, so the easiest way to do jump rings properly is twist in the opposite direction. And you can pretty much get it perfect. Uh, and that's kind of close. I don't see any opening. Alright, so now we're going to have some fun and figure out where the best, the best place to attach this is. And I'm going to turn this around because I have a black thing here. I know you can see it a little bit. That's what I'm trying to keep my hands 
below that so that I know that you can see what I'm doing and I know I haven't been 100% on. I'm sorry guys. Okay, so I'm going to try to pull this down just a little bit more. To determine where I want to put my jump rings. The tree isn't exactly in the middle. I did put a little bend. Um, it doesn't have to be in the middle. It can hang this way. It, it'll look right if you make a tree that isn't in the middle. Just accommodate how you want it to hang by how you hang, how you put your wire uh, in your chain. You might not even want to do that. You might just want to tie a little silk ribbon. I've done that. So I'm going to try, I think, here and here. I'm going to open this. It, it does slip over, but sometimes it gives me grief, and I'm not in the mood for grief. My voice is hurting. As long as I can close it up good. Okay, so we put the first jump ring on. I'm going to put my chain. The right way to close a jump ring, I should have opened it the right way, is to use two pair of pliers and twist in the opposite direction to open and close. Sometimes you hear a little click. didn't hear a little click, but I had a cold and I am all signs con congestion I can't hear. Okay, so now I'm going to find the middle. Um, yeah, that's not going to look good. I don't think so. Maybe. The only thing is, you have to put your chain right behind a branch. Like, if I put it right there, it's going to slide anyway. And that's why you wrap so that that doesn't move. I'm going to try and put a jump ring right here. It looks right in the shape of this. Uh, See if I can get it on there without twisting. Sometimes, not always. Now, if it just looks good, then we're done. Had to do it this way for me for you to see it. Just turn and line them up. Yeah. I have to hold it up in front of me first. I think it works. The only thing I just noticed is this, for some reason, isn't hanging flat. Oh, because I put two. I should have used the same one and gone through. See what I mean? It's like a necklace. If you, all right, you gotta fix that. 
Oh, and I was so happy I got this to go through. I don't want to take this off because it won't go through the hoop. So what I'm going to do... I should have realized it because I did it on the, on the previous one. I added a little link, a little chain link right there in between the two rings, the two um, jump rings. Alrighty. So, we're gonna, okay, first of all, let me just find a link. I have to cut, these ones here you have to cut. I only need one link. You can tell I'm not feeling well. But I still have to keep my hands busy. Okay. So. If I can just open up this jump ring without giving me grief, I would be happy. I don't think it's going to happen. I want to be able to open this without having to remove it. I want to open it and slip that little chain. Do I have to take it off? I don't think I do, right? Yeah, I do. It has to go in that one. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I'm losing it, guys. I'm so done being sick right now, I'll tell you. Okay. I'm gonna do this again. See? Now, if I could edit, you wouldn't have to look at my mistake. But then you wouldn't know how to fix it if you make one. So, I'm going to justify that. I'm going to put this all on first. Hopefully it'll work. No, not like that. <laughs> oh my goodness, I didn't want to have to open this. I was trying to avoid it, but... No, you have to. Okay. Now, fingers crossed, because this was a stinker to get on, this little jump ring, and it closed so nice. Okay, Let me just one more time. Yeah, I don't think that's going to come out. Just no, that's nice and strong. All right, let me try to do this the right way. I think this is the middle. Let's just double check. Three and three. It is. So I'm going to try to not have to bend this jump ring. I'm going to try and just get it to go right through and come out the other end, the other side, in the right place. Sometimes I have it go in the front and then come out back on in between the wrong. We got it. Ta da! That's a <laughs> that's a good feeling right now. Look at that! It worked. Now you'll see what I mean. Do you see that before it was hanging sideways because I had two jump rings without the link in the middle, so it was causing it. It's kind of like a necklace. If, if you don't have a bail on it, it'll, you can't do it. And I forgot to do it. But I didn't forget how to make a tree. Here's my magic. Let's see if you can see it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a photo of it. Hanging up. And we're going to call this one the same tree made twice due to a broken branch. Well, guys, 
I appreciate you and your patience. So I did want to answer a question because I have it often before I let you go. I've been asked if I sell stuff. I actually got a comment today that I should be selling my stuff. All right, so this is the, the situation. When I first started making the trees, long before this channel, was during the pandemic because both my husband and son are essential and I was very lonely. So I got crazy busy learning, teaching myself my own techniques. This is my way. I have not copied anybody. And I started making some really pretty trees. So at first I was just making just random stuff. And then I started doing the four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall, all the same, and connecting them. And I did sell them. My husband would take them to work and he'd call me and tell me, I need five more. I was selling them a lot. And uh, some of my friends that I've given a gift to and they've shown it, and then other people want it. And it's like, you know how the process goes. But after that, I started getting really good. So, well, kind of good. My son opened up an Etsy shop and a Shopify. And I did do okay um, on the Etsy. You can, you can look me up. I did one winter, spring, summer, and fall in a five inch hoop, I believe. And I have another one on, still available, but the other one sold for $200. It's huge, and it's just, it's absolutely stunning. And that is on my Etsy. Now, if you want to see stuff that I've made in the past, it's, it is on Etsy. Some of it I don't like, and some of it I do like. And I do have a small set of four seasons. And the reason I don't do well on the Etsy is it's hard for me to post on a phone. I have a computer, a laptop, but I just don't know how to edit it. It's, it's a total handicap, believe me. So my son was downloading everything and then, you know, setting it up. I do know how to do it on the phone, but it'd take me an hour for one, to post one thing. I did post um, my crescent moon on there and a few new things, but you'll also get a sense of style from how I have grown. And that is on Etsy. Now, the Shopify, if you go to my Instagram, it is the same It's MSJ Crafts Boutique. Go to my Instagram, you'll see stuff that I've recently made. I post a lot there. I also show a lot of my cats. Um, some fun stuff, you know. It's, it, I like it. It's me, you know. It's just who I am. This is, this is what I do. So, I never thought that I would be successful with YouTube. I was encouraged by someone, as I told you in a previous video, Brad Creative Art, who gave me wonderful advice and still does. I still can't edit and it's a handicap. I need to be able to make a playlist and um, a banner, just all the things, good thumbnails that I don't know how to do. A playlist I think is very, very important. Um, I was actually informed that I'm now eligible. I qualified after my thousand um, subscribers for the partners program, which I never thought I'd come to that, but I have. I don't make any money, but not yet. Maybe someday I will. But I think I'm one to watch for now because I've been very fortunate with you and you do watch, and you do like, and you do subscribe. Ultimately, if I can learn, I see like a lot of other, you know, channels, they have like merch and stuff like that. I would love to post my stuff. Not not so much on, on Etsy, but here for you, because you watch me make it. So I do have a lot of beautiful pieces that I hope one day to post here, and um, be able to share more with you with the playlist so before I take the last photo of this I'm going to put them side by side for you these are the two selected for the donation for the silent auction the 
clearly this one here is I think 10 times more beautiful than this this is unique it's very delicate see these didn't take as much to make it it did time wise just, it took time but this one here is it has the um, amethyst and a lot of leaves and a lot of crystals and I really love this tree I, I just I really really like it a lot I think it came out real pretty so with that I will let you go my guys my friends my my group I appreciate you I'm gonna take a photo of this and I'm gonna post it and um, I will see you for the next project bye guys